And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Winter Draven. This deck was really cool whenever we played it last time and I'm going to bring it back for Rake Up Sunday. This is where we play some of our favorite decks from throughout the week. Uh, this one is kind of similar to the mid-range Frostbite in like some of the aspects. Like we have, you know, Omenhawk, Avaros and Trapper, um, Hearthguard, Assessor. You have like that part, that core of ways to make uh, larger units and draw extra cards and stuff like that. Um, you know, obviously Sejuani's part of the deck, but it's not really part of that core. Um, but then, but then besides that, we're going to be going with uh, more ways that care about five plus power allies. We have like Ancient Yetis in here that have Overwhelm. Uh, we have Legion Veteran that can make some things larger. Like those both work really well with Trifarian Assessor. Um, and then, so we're going to be just a little bit more aggressive in here. We don't have all the Frostbite stuff, but we're going to have more uh, units and more attacking, um, you know, even Ruthless Raider with that Overwhelm. We got a little bit of Pump with Transfusion, a little bit of Frostbite with Flash Freeze, um, and that's the deck. We're basically just going to be playing our stuff and attacking. Not too much interaction. Troll Chant, Culling Strike, not too much interaction. So let's try out some Winter Draven. We're going to go play five games in Ranked. Let's see how this deck does. So Ionia with Nocturne Elise. This one, this deck's a little bit different. Um, I like this hand. Do I want the Flash Freeze? Do I want the Legion Veteran? I'm keeping Omen Hawk. I'm keeping Agent Yeti. Those two are definite keeps. And yeah, let's just keep let's just keep it all. I think Flash Freeze could be a good a good spell to like use on like a Nocturne, for example. Yeah, so probably lots of fearsome stuff in here with the Lisa Nocturne, so I was thinking like the Flash Freeze could be good. Oh yeah, Ionia said for go get it. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. We'll take it, play the Conley Tavern Keeper. Gain three of that back. I served for decades, and you call on me now. This troll chant could be a really good, you know, trick to help out two combats, like a double, a double trick like that. This is pretty scary. Every scar a lesson. Yeah, this is pretty scary. They've used two of those burst speed mist rates so far. The young fight for glory, I fought for legacy. Mm. Wow. So they naturally drew two mist rates and <laughs> two of the other mist wraith. Yeah, I mean I guess I'm dead. Wow, that was a such a that's a great mystery draw. Yeah, they drew two regular mysteries, two of the risen mists. Hmm. Only the finest serve. Nah. Yeah, awesome. GGs.
I like this matchup more. I feel pretty good about us winning this just because the size of our units should work out really well here. We'll keep Culling Strike to take down an Ezreal. Um, but then, you know, decent curve. We can, we can bank that three spell mana on turn three. They can kill Avros and Sentry with whatever, but then we draw a card. These old eyes still see far and clear. What you looking for? In Avarosa's name. Yeah, I think I think that overall, yeah, I don't, I don't think that that uh, fearsome's a bad matchup for us. Yeah, I honestly don't think fearsome's a bad oh, matchup for us. We, my opponent just had, you know, a top what two percent of hands. Like I, I don't, I don't imagine it gets much better than what they had. I don't, I don't know if it can. Like those eight turns, or seven turns. I mean, sorry, those seven turns. Like I don't, I don't think you can put. Six mist rates into play, and then also, you know, then and everything too reliably. A fight. I'm gonna save Troll Chant. Save me, Luke. Or guess six mist rates, not seven, six. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Okay, we'll keep it alive. Safeguard our homes. Okay. So even though it like dies to a static shock now, we still took out two cards. It was a quick pass, because yeah, I think they want me to play Avros and Hearth Guard, then they go Static Shock, or they want me to go Hearth Guard, then they go uh, Ezreal. So I guess I wait a turn for Hearth Guard. I think it's I think it's Ezreal. Why would I not play Hearthguard first? We fight for like a Rachnoid Sentry. Lord. They probably don't have that again. <laughs> Never mind. In Avarosa's name. And I'll take I'll have the Avaros and Sentry die and draw a card. I'd rather do that than use a transfusion to save it. Cool. By my hand will Noxus rise. Needs. Nothing escapes my watch. Needs five more to level up. They're probably not playing Noxion Fervor, right? Probably not. Because Noxion Fervor would level up Swain. That would be a way to do 5 damage. That's a Swain's Ravenous Flock? That shuffles a Swain back in. I could, So I basically I could use a Transfusion to not have them shuffle their Swain back in and also not have them get 4 damage for leveling up Swain. Because I could kill this with Transfusion. I don't know if that's worth a card. That would mean they'd only have one Swain left in the deck and they'd still be at seven for Swain. It's a tough call. I don't know, this is just kind of a, a different line. I'll try doing it and just see what happens. I'm not sure if that'll be worth card in my hand or not. So they only have one Swain left in the deck. 
So if their Swain is in their opening hand... It's Draven. Or if their, sorry, if their Swain is in their hand, then a Leviathan doesn't draw a Swain anymore. So I could see them wanting to do that, of putting that Swain back so that a Leviathan would draw a Swain. How do they still have more Arachnoid sentries? I was expecting Leviathan, you know, like Leviathan here, I would go Flash Freeze, Cooling Strike. Today we fight as one! The only card that punishes me from opening attacking is Arachnoid Sentry, and they've already played two. But they had the third, I guess. If they do just play a Swain here, I could Culling Strike the Swain, and then they're out of Swains in their deck. I think that's what they're probably debating upon is Swain or Progress Day. Just guessing. So that's why I didn't. Le that's why I didn't play the Ancient Yeti, so that we could do this. We're going under. <laughs> We're okay. Le Leviathan said deploying. If it says destination in sight, it's an instant lose. <laughs> yeah, Whirling Death, very strong. Good draw. Swain's leveled up now. Come on, Trifarian Assessor. This could definitely be me dying. You know, they just play Ezreal and then play some spells, stun my stuff, kill me. Ugh. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. More whirling deaths. At least that probably means no Ezreal, so that's good. Raven down. They're both four fours. Time for the main event. Leave them nothing. Oh, man. Looks like they're going to win this. Let's do this. In Avarosa's name. Okay, I'll just take that. Could use one spinning axe to level up Draven one time, but I'm just gonna hold on to the spinning axes. Maybe we have surprise open hot kill them or something. No. To their knees. This land is ours. Uh, Leviathan's so good. Artillery barrage. I will break them. Pledge or perish. Oh, Leviathan's so good. So I can use, you know, I can use the spinning axes and turn the Omenhawk into a three-one to be able to block, but. 
I got the goods. Our strength is yours. Hopefully they can't stun. removal for this swain man we are so close we got rid of two of the three swains uh, they found yeah you know, they used multiple leviathans getting the last one we are so close also if that ancient yeti if it costs six instead of seven you know like if we would have been able to play it after you know if we had one more man it would have been able to play that and would have been able to open attack so we drew all three omen hawks both of our Averroes and Sentries, two of the three Ruthless Raiders. <laughs> That's us drawing the, the low stuff. No Trifarian Assessors, no Sejuani. If I would have Whirling Death, the 3-2, I, di I didn't realize I was about to run out of time, honestly. I was I was looking at the deck list trying to figure out what we could do. But I, I had just figured it out that, like, so basically I needed to Whirling Death, the 3-2, and I think I could have stayed at, like, 1, and then, like, maybe have, like, a Sed Sejuani would have been 8 power. Yeah, so Sed Sejuani would have been 7. We played 2 Avaros and Hearth Guards. But then I just played an Omen Hawk. So yeah, actually, so yeah, it would have been, it would have maybe worked. So I needed to stop looking at the deck list. I, I ran out of time. But yeah, if I would have Whirling Death, the 3-2, maybe if that top card is Sejuani, we could challenge and kill them. Maybe. You know, it's a, it's a lot of maybes, but... Yeah. There's two Sejuanis in the deck. So we would have had two out of whatever to draw it. And then, of course, have nothing. The winter's claw strikes. A fight. So that's not a, like a, a lovely trade with that 3-1 for that, that spider, but I'm going to do that. Like, usually the people that play this deck, if they're playing House Spider, they're playing the version with Decisive Maneuver, where they're going wide, and so I'm just going to just, you know, take, take the trade and uh, try to keep them from going as wide as fast. Raise your weapon, Sunwood! Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly how many cards we have left in our deck, but I can approximate. It's we had we had a, approximately probably about a um, about a nine percent chance of drawing it. We probably had like twenty two cards in my in the deck. That would be my guess. This is gonna hurt for you. All right, good troll chant. Watch and learn. Could play Hearth Guard first, but I'll just get the attack in. Cool. 
first bit of damage for Sejuani. My faith protects me. And good call. Just getting the attack in. It's Draven time. Yep, so that's what my opponent was thinking about the last turn. They had another Draven in their hand for Whirling Death. And they were thinking, you know, what do they want to do with that? Where'd you get your title? They do refunds? Hmm. From the savage cold. I wanted to pair that with Culling Strike, Sejuani. Nice Burn away doubt. I've carved meat bigger than you. Yeah, so it's probably Whirling Death or Decisive Maneuver. Looks, my guess is another Whirling Death. Yep, that's another Whirling Death. So they'll level up their Draven. And I thought I was already perfect. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Born for conquest. Avarosans, stand together. Yeah, I, like if if I trade six five for five five, I, I lose out on Trifarian Assessor value. Yes, but I think that that's a good trade for me, getting the overwhelm thing out of here. You must get by these first. You cannot sway me. And therefore, I'd be willing to do it. Fall, heretic! Enough stalling! You got an axe with your name on it. Oh. And they just passed to me and just let me... Let me go. That's that would be a second Draven you dead. When they'll die of boredom. I refuse. So Sejuani gone means that I can have another Sejuani and have you know Sejuani plus Culling Strike maybe next turn. You suck. That may not be the easiest thing to pull off with all these spinning axes. Oh brother, I was going to say that. Only the finest serve. We have eight mana, I need nine for that. So play this Omen Hawk to be a fourth blocker. Bow to no one. Scorching light. Yes, by my hand. Stand and defend. Got an axe with your name on it. This will be quick. Show them our team. I think that's my best block against decisive maneuver. They shouldn't be able to kill the Sejuani. They, this would have them decisive maneuvering the Draven, which you know I can't, I can't stop. That. Let's see if I don't play this, we go down to four. So not dead. I play this, we go down to six. They can do an additional three if they want to discard their hand with the, the spinning axes. You know, anywhere from two to three. Okay, they choose not to use it. Alright, 
Alright, that was a perfect block against Decisive Maneuver. Now I'm left with all this stuff. We have Flash Freeze Cooling Strike on their next turn. I'm going to be playing, so I'll ha have Troll Chant if I choose oh, this turn. Do this. Sejuani's not very close. It is at Sejuani's at 1 out of 5. So not very close. Yeah, I don't want to give them the opportunity to play anything else, so let's let this happen. Could have gone one Spinning Axe on a Draven. Yo. That's scary. Okay, well if they draw another... If they draw another Decimate, I lose. Hopefully not. Hooray! All right, GG's. One and two. We survive. Ooh, all Shadow Isles. So probably a bunch more mist rates. Like our first loss. Um, I'm gonna keep this though. We'll just bank spell mana the first two turns. Yeah, definitely Cabo. For um for Draven Overwhelm. We can change that. Okay, yeah. Let's go with the trapper. Try to get that enraged Yeti as fast as possible. We'll go with that over the Draven. Gotcha. So it looks like this was the card they just found. This card's pretty powerful. Draven. Time for the main event. All right, so we'll see if we want to have Transfusion available or just play Enraged Yeti. And I think I just play Enraged Yeti. We catch? On the train. We can also attack for a bunch. Good Avaros and Trapper. Alright, probably going Legion Veteran and keeping Transfusion available. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Alright, and now we attack out. Or veteran plus ruthless raider. I help build this empire. I guess veteran plus ruthless raider. The winter's claw strikes. They can't really go more wide. <clears throat> Never mind. Yes, they can. Axes coming right up. This 
messy. These mist rates are solid. Is this the death you imagined? I've embarrassed fools twice your size. Is this the death you imagined? Just have to worry about atrocity, I guess. I guess I so I guess I have to block with Draven, even though I don't want to. This is gonna hurt. Every scar a lesson. Learn from that. Just a regular mystery, please. Thank you. This land is ours. Okay. Sure is dark, eh? Let's go to open attacking. Right. I mean, I guess they block these three things. They're saying GG's. Well, I mean, I don't have a win. So I guess they're telling me that they have a win. So they're telling me that they have um, the instant speed mist wraith plus atrocity. That's exactly 10 mana. They have 10 mana. Oh. Or they have that. They got me. That was good. Good emote. They got me. Man, stop. They never run out of Wraith Callers. One. Oh, All right, we're in a top deck war. Top deck battle. Oh no, stalking shadows. That's so good in a top deck battle. The multiple things. We shall their and we know those are both units. There's not really any reason to not play those. Yeah, they just play the other. Oh, they don't have the mana for the other chronicler. Okay, so I can still stay alive. Uh, so how do I want to stay alive? I think I want to... Uh, I mean, I have to I have to uh, throw away everything that I got. Um, but... I guess I leave them with Chronicler of Ruin over leaving them with anything else. Alright, so they're winning this top deck battle because they have Chronicler Ruin in hand, another one. If they would have just cast the Callista on my last turn, they would have won that. Oh, they're not playing the Ephemeral. Alright, well, I have to do this right now because otherwise they just take it. 
for the money makers. Right, it's not like I don't get another time to respond. So this forces them to block. I'm surprised they didn't play the ephemeral and block with the ephemeral, honestly. No. 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 Alright, one and three. GG's. So this is what losing feels like. Probably should have won that. I Honestly, I was just not expecting Ruination whatsoever, and like, you know, like, that, that kind of aggro deck, and then just throw down a Ruination, that, that surprised me, I did not expect that. Got me pretty good. Love Ancient Yeti, love Culling Strike. These are just kind of good, good curve pieces, but they're not very good in this matchup, because they can, they can block 3-1, 3-3 fairly easily. I'll just keep the 2-mana card with the 3-1, and we're going to look for something else besides the 3-3. Good mulligan, good mulligan on that Conley Tavern Keeper. I like this more. Hmm. This land is ours. All right, Choo Choo, have a, have a great night. So I definitely consider not playing the Ruthless Raider so that I would have Troll Chant available with attacking. Been down, but his knee out. Ugh, I hate this. I guess my Draven's just dead. I guess the Draven's just dead. I definitely think that they're holding on to something to, you know, like their deck's just filled with combat tricks. So they're going to have something to um, heal that 2-3. I don't think that that, two, I don't think that we would actually trade if I would try to block. And I wasn't, I wasn't going to discard anything else to Spinning X. I'll scrutinize something scrumptious. Tritharian Assessor, which would be my best draw. Okay, I'll get a new Draven back. But Astral Protection would be a lot of a lot of trouble. The party has arrived. You know, hopefully we get to attack with all these big things this next turn. Oh, Tom, there may be redemption for you yet. Two star springs. With the possibilities are infinite. Probably not infinite. This Love that Whirling Death, that's a great draw. And also, I should probably just be attacking with Omen Hawk also, actually, now withdrawing the, the Whirling Death. Yeah, I should be, because I don't really want them to eat the Omen Hawk anyway. Closer, friend. Again. 
Okay, I'll start there. So they just have three mana left, so no Astral Protection. So we'll be able to kill this Tom Kenj. Yeah, Troll Chant, Whirling Death. That's the plan. Now I'll also level up Draven. There's Haraka stays alive. You would have gone just another spinning axe. I guess that that would have been worth it, right? Because then I would have I would have traded flash freeze for for Soraka. So I guess that would have been worth it to just throw away flash freeze. Master the power of the stars. Master yeah, I guess that would have been worth it. I'm trying, but they keep wandering off. Yeah, that was a better play. If I kill you, I don't fart you. <laughs> it's been a long day, long day of playing that that Fiora Dragons video, man. Those games, I've been kind of... I haven't been thinking as well since then. <laughs> it's, those are some super long games that wore me down. But yeah, you're right. That's that's a better play. Should discard the Flash Freeze. Turn Draven into 7 power. The Star Chuck. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Finn. Right. We look after our own. I'll protect you. Today we fight as one! Let's boogie. Okay, so just having the overwhelms last. I don't know if that really matters. You can just take the rest. Live with purpose. You are better than this. Yeah, that Soraka's drawn them four cards. If I would have killed it, you know, that's four cards they would not have drawn. Another path, another problem. And of course, you know, now it's a 2 7 and everything, too. No, the stars! Don't touch my flock! We're all family here. Osu, help! For the money makers. This time they have the mana they can protect Soraka. Also, just got them pretty close to winning the game with this. Hop to it, Ely. Round up those stars. Don't tell me what to do. What's Flash Freeze gonna do? Like what? Like what? I have no idea what Flash Freeze even does. Like why? Do you, why do you think Flash Freeze has any value? What do you want me to Flash Freeze this 12-3 that doesn't matter? Okay, I guess now it could matter. Well, it wasn't going to matter until that shakedown. This was just not a very good video for me. I, I We played such close games all the time, and we're about to be 1-4. and four. Like, this this game I really should have won. I, I did, yeah. If I would have just... 
if I would have just done the spinning axe play like like we talked about and killed that Soraka, I think that game, this game's over because they they got to heal a whole bunch for me not killing that Soraka and draw those four extra cards. I do think that that was certainly the difference between winning and losing. The river always provides. Round them up. Is there? So close to winning with the Star Spring now. Enjoy prospecting. They really should have, with the shakedown, they really should have targeted like these Omen Hawks and just. Now we're cooking. This is our homeland. Right, if they have something that saves that, they would just save. So if, if they can, if they have something that saves any of these, like an astral protection, I lose. Heal two, go to twenty. Heal three, go to twenty-one. I'll protect you. Great draw. You own what you take. Deadly paths. No. Just Born for conquest. Our banner will lead the way. I can't attack with either of these because they just block one of those and they win. Oh, I guess they just win anyway. Yeah, I guess they just win anyway. Stand back. Because, uh, because this thing just self damages itself. And they win. I couldn't. Yeah, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have been lethal if I would have challenged. If I would have just challenged the the O four with the one one, it wouldn't have been lethal. Because they at that point they just have they just block you know like the six seven they let that other thing die, but then the O four survives and they just win with the O four. By doing that, at least I had the chance of drawing Culling Strike, right? Like that was like my only out was if we would have drawn Culling Strike, and had Culling Strike be able to kill the two seven at that point. I don't know. My my brain is just fried. My my brain's fried. I, I feel really bad about a lot of those games. I think I think that a lot of those games are winnable, but my, my brain's just fried. Um, awesome deck. This deck's really cool. Um, you know, like we we uh, went four one it with it last time. Um, man, those games were difficult. This this game just Legends of Runeterra is really difficult. <laughs> it is. Um. But anyway, that's that's it here for Winter Draven. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Uh, you know, anything about this. But um, yeah, that's, that's kind of all I got. <laughs> all right, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.